Hello Charms, it's quarantini time and this week we're going to be having my favourite of all cocktails, the martini. This recipe has been requested by Mark Brissenden, my friend and Mark's brother's expert and it's kind of apt because Mark was the last living human being to make me a cocktail before this lockdown started. Me and Mr Rathbone went round to his house for lunch, remember when you could do that? So this one's for you, Mark. It's the Martin Landau way of making a martini. Mr. Rathbone calls these Martini Landaus for obvious reasons, and it's a really nice way of making a martini. There are a million different ways of making a martini, but here's how Martin likes to make his. He says to put your glasses in the freezer. There's no room in my freezer for anything, so I've put some ice in the glass instead. And then I'm going to, they've been chilling for a while, so pop that in the cocktail shaker. Um, those of you who have seen the amazing film of Stanley Tucci making a Negroni on the internet will know why I'm slightly ashamed of my martini vermouth. I'll be getting a fancy vermouth once I've drunk all this. So Martin basically says, put a little bit of vermouth in your glass and swill it around just to get that little flavour of vermouth. Um, I'll do the same with the other one. I'm making two, one for me, one for Mr. R. And then you, you discard it. So you're just sort of lining the glasses with vermouth. So it's two ounces of vodka each from my teeny tiny vodka that I got in my Cardo delivery. This is nearly, this will be gone soon, so it's fine. So two ounces for each martini. And either a lemon twist or two olives, I've got my little lady, remember her from last week? So this recipe is in my friend Greg's Recipes for Rebels book, which is fabulous. And I saw him making these on a video on his website once. It's a really nice way of making a lemon twist. You just slice a really thin piece of lemon rind and wind it around a knitting needle or a skewer or something. Shake it all up. Uh, you see a lot of martinis in old Hollywood movies and Myrna Loy, who I know Mark is a fan of, is well known for drinking many martinis in the Thin Man films. And she is the most glamorous woman you will ever see doing this with a cocktail shaker. So if you wanna see someone super glamorous making a martini, have a look on uh, Google for Myrna Loy. So shake it all up, make it nice and cold. And in it goes. I like the clinking of the ice. It's like the symbol of martini hour or quarantini time. The clinking of the ice in the shaker. So nice, dainty sized martinis. So before I invite Mr. Rathbone in to sample a, a martini, just to let you know what we'll be having next week. So next week, we are having a Douglas Fairbanks cocktail, the Fairbanks number no. two cocktail. And it is found in this, the Savoy cocktail book, which I think is the most fabulous of all cocktail books. It's just a, a beautiful thing, beautiful illustrations. It's just so gorgeous. This is actually a first edition from 1930. And I had a look on the interwebs and these go for about 300 pounds so this is probably the most valuable thing i have in my house when i've had a party in the past i have hidden it <laughs> just in case some antiquarian bookseller comes around and spots it so this is a fabulous book you can get this in a reprint uh, so we'll be making the fairbanks cocktail fairbanks number two and in that is here it is uh, oh no, it's Fairbanks one. Fairbanks 
number one. Lemon juice, grenadine, brandy, apricot brandy, vermouth and gin. Cool, that's gonna be a humdinger. Right, let's try the martinis. Mr. Rathbone's coming in. I wonder if he will choose the one with lemon or the one with olives, who knows? Evening all. Here he is. Wow. What are you gonna have? I'll go for this, I think. Okay. He's gone oh, for the olives, oh, folks. Hey. Well, what's going on here? What? There's a little guy in there. There's no one in there. <laughs> saw that about. Uh, reference to Spinal Tap, for those of you that know the film Spinal Tap. All right, Nigel? All right, yeah. uh, Did you take your library books back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, as always, thanks to everyone on the front line, all the essential workers, keeping the country going and keeping the world going. Oh, yes. Uh, catchphrase? Uh, stay stay quarantined. quarantined. See you next week. Cheers.